All right, people, what is up? It's, uh, it's day, day 43, and I've got the day off work. Yesterday, I ran through how everything was going. When I took a look at the physique update that I gave you guys, I thought, okay, all right, I'm looking sweet from behind, but as soon as I turn around, my stomach is just, it's just too fat, man. It's too fucking fat. I'm probably above 15% body fat, to be honest. Um, either that, or I was just really, really like, I don't know, soft because I had heaps of water and food in me. I really don't know. But what that's, what that's done is it's really fucked up my headspace. Um, I hadn't done a physique update sort of video for a while. Uh, and that was the first time I sort of saw myself on camera for at least the last couple of weeks. And, you know, do I do a mini cut? Do I not? I, I saw a, fuck, honestly, like last night, I'm going to get down here, guys. Um, last night I was... So, so fucking confused as to what I should do. And then a post came up by Matthew St. George, which is, he's actually the guy that I got as my coach when I was doing my last show. And it didn't, you know, it didn't go as planned. Um, although he's an amazing coach, I would recommend him to anyone. He's a natural bodybuilder from Australia. Uh, he's a bit younger than me, maybe a year younger, but he's got an amazing physique and he does coaching as well. But he put up a post on Instagram. All of his posts are always amazing. They're always fucking really, really knowledgeable. And um, the one last night was about his journey over the last five years and the fact that, you know, too much stopping and starting is, is not going to get you the results you want. And I know that. And that's what I've told you guys, you know. I know I need to stick in a surplus for a, for a very extended period of time, at least a year. Um, and so... I wrote back to him, I, I, I posted a comment, I said, bro, oh, fuck, I needed that, man, thank you so much for that, because, you know, I was, um, I was really, really contemplating doing another mini cut, which I've done so many times before, and the mini cut leads into a full-on cut, and I never get the gains that I was meant to get, so I've woken up this morning, and I'm still undecided, but, I mean, the reality is, is that I've just got to go back to what has happened in the past, I cannot get the gains I want um, without sticking in the surplus and continuing. So with that said, I've got no food in the house. That that was also another reason. Like I had no fucking food in the house last night. I was like, I don't even have a post workout meal right now. Should I just start cutting right now? And I, I pretty much ate the rest of the food in the house. I mean, have a look at this. This is um this is pretty sad, sad state of affairs guys. <laughs> Fuck. We've got half a fucking what do you call them? Rice cakes container, packet. We've got another half here. We've got some honey, we've got some peanut butter, we've got an empty oats container, and we've got some boring freaking canned food. You know how boring canned food is, don't you guys? So anyways, um, like I said, today's a day off. I have decided I'm not gonna do the mini cut. I'm gonna continue with the bulk. Today is leg day. I've got a coffee. I'm gonna go to the supermarket right now and get some, well actually not right now, I'm going to go in about 10 minutes because first of all, I've got my computer up here and I'm going to reply to some YouTube comments. So what I also wanted to say guys is that if you've ever left me a comment, you've ever given me a like, I need to thank you guys once again because the likes and the comments are so important to my, to my, um, self-esteem as far as this YouTube thing goes. They, they really are. Every single one, it means the world to me. And right now, I'm going to get back to all my comments. So what I tend to do is I tend to leave them for two or three days and then I'll get back to them eventually um, all at once. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to do that. I'm going to drink my coffee and then I'm going to go to the supermarket, get some food, and I'll see you guys back here with what I got to continue this bulk. Day 43, baby. Let's go. Once again, guys, Not a bad day at all. Not bad. As per usual guys, no filter. It really does put you in a good mood when you come outside. And you know the weather is going to be picture perfect. So, coffee's down. We're going to the shop. I really can't be fucked to be fair. I just want to go to the gym. But I do need some food before I train. I've learned the hard way. Faster training is not worth it. So let's go. All 
Alright guys, we're back. Now for the worst part, which is putting the groceries away, but um, let's have a look at the uh, before beforehand picture of the cupboard. So that is beforehand guys. A sad, sad state of affairs, but you're about to see a welcome change in three, two, what those calluses? One. That looks a little better, doesn't it guys? All right, and here we are once again, the groceries are away. I just thought I'd show you guys what I use uh, with my meat. So today is no different. I bought bulk chicken breast. We've got probably about four kgs of chicken breast, which I'm gonna cook up. And I use this seasoning, bought it in bulk. So the other one has run out, I believe, where is it? Yep, well, pretty much done. So I've got another one of those. With that said, guys, let's have a quick look. So, pretty much just carbohydrates, to be fair. Um, the ones that I use the most, rice, wheat bix, wraps, and oats. We've got almond milk and soy milk, which is the milk that I use. I don't use dairy anymore. Uh, we have a whole selection of sauces. I actually just bought a couple of new ones, which are barbecue rib and smoky barbecue and as far as protein goes guys we've got two things of frozen egg whites and we've got about three or four kgs of chicken breast in there so I'm going to cook that up in bulk as per usual and I'll see you guys when I'm done peace that off. Here you have it. I'll get some light over here. We've got three kilograms of chicken breast, diced chicken breast, 750, 750, 750, 750. I shall be having one of these every day for the next four days and that will take care of my protein which makes it so easy and it's the way I like to do it lately. So I'll be probably putting two of these in the freezer and two in the fridge and then guys, we'll be going to train, finally. One major key, everybody, I have to tell you guys right now. It's do your dishes before you finish. Because two minutes at the end of cooking is so much better than procrastinating and having to look at a fucking kitchen full of dirty dishes for the next how many hours. How many hours is it going to take you to do your dishes? I never ever leave dirty dishes on the kitchen on the bench, in the sink, because it fucks me off and it's just, it messes with my feng shui, I think. So anyways, major key, do your dishes after you cook, makes it so much easier. And then you've got a free kitchen to do your next fucking meal, whenever that might be. And of course when I'm bulking, my next meal is not that far away, so I definitely want a clean kitchen for that. 
But anyways, guys, it's time to train. Let's fucking do this. We've got leg day. All right, guys. Post-workout. Post-workout chat. And uh, I'm not going to lie to you guys, all right? I did not do legs. I have felt quite lethargic this morning, and that didn't... Uh, that did not dissipate. So, I did something I always enjoy, I know I'm going to enjoy, and I know I'm going to be able to push out fucking hard, which I did, which is chest. So, the chest is fucking pumped. And it's times like these. It's times like these that I wish, I wish the pump stayed around, but it really doesn't. So 10 minutes later, I'm going to be same old Natty Jake, but that's what you get for being natural, right? But uh, anyway, yeah, good chest workout. We did three pressing movements actually. I did two variations of an incline, uh, one with the Smith machine, it's a straight bar, and one on a uh, unilateral incline plate loaded machine. Uh, Matrix is the brand, I believe. And from there, I went over to a seated uh, flat chest press which I prefer to a flat bench because it just feels so much better um, and what else and then I did heaps of flies at the end so some from a, a slightly above shoulder coming down some from a neutral angle and some from below coming up targeting that upper chest which which is looking fucking pretty pumped right now I must admit in fact let's see what I look like So here we are guys, day 43, I know I showed you guys a physique update like yesterday, but this is with a pump. I mean, if I can actually get some mass like up around here, I mean that's going to be fucking sick. Like without a pump, if I've actually, if I can actually build some mass like around this part, um, that's what I want to do, you know. I really want to develop my triceps, my delts, chest, and especially, especially rear delts, which are coming out slowly, slowly. Slowly but surely. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Anyways, I'm heading home. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Alright guys, so post-workout meal we have, uh, what is it, 450 grams of rice, as well as half of one of those things of chicken. So that's probably about, probably about 350 grams of chicken breast, and 450 grams of cooked white rice. And I'm going to smash that down in this here container. It should be good. And, and some of you guys may say that 350 grams of chicken breast, which equals probably about 80 grams of protein, is going to be too much for one meal. And I'd have to agree with you, but I'm not planning on eating again for another four hours. So I'm going to cut my losses, hedge my bets. Cut my losses, is it? Or hedge? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck it is. But, anyways. I'm going to take in enough protein to last me over the next four hours. And as far as the carbs go, that's around 140 grams of carbs total. So I'll probably actually add in something else if I can fit it in. Or I'll put, I'll put like quite a bit of sauce on top as well. So that's probably about another 30 grams of carbs. And, um, and that's it guys, that's post workout 101. Steamy there. Yeah, that looks good enough. And what else we got? Put some barbecue sauce on there. Quite liberally, as you can see. There we have it guys, post-workout meal. We're talking 80 to 90 grams of protein, we're talking about 170 odd grams of carbs and absolutely no fat. So post-workout meal done, I'll see you guys in the next one. Good morning everybody. And what a beautiful morning it is. I'm not sure what this uh, cloud's up to, but it is quite cool actually. But anyways guys, enough of that shit. I am currently, fuck, where are you going to sit? 
I am currently at work. I've just finished night shift. But it's day 34 now. Sorry, not 34, fucking 44. Yesterday was day 43. Uh, cut the vlog off, I was at home. Just had a post-workout meal. Following that, I had another couple of meals and came to work at about uh, 7.30 last night. Started work at 7.30, it is 6.30 in the morning right now. Another night shift in the books, man. Money, money, money. Wasn't easy, but I got through it. And I found this little baby, iced coffee, in the fridge. And uh, I got given it. So, what have we got? Eight bar iced coffee, 852 kilojoules, 8.4 grams of protein, 8.4 grams of fat, 23.4 grams of carbs, with 21.6 grams of sugar. So, we've got good old five and a half teaspoons of sugar in this. <sighs> Shocking, isn't it? But I am going to have it because I need it. So, I did manage to have about three hours sleep last night. Really shouldn't be saying that on camera because we're not meant to be sleeping. So I reckon one of these days I'm going to get caught out. But luckily, no one, no one around here really watches my YouTube. It's all, it's all people that don't really know me uh, in person. So that's not a worry. But anyways, got some sleep. Uh, going home now. I didn't train legs yesterday, as you guys know. So it's got to be today. There's no fucking question. It's been over a week. I haven't let myself go over a week without training legs for you know, over the last year, so I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but we'll go down there, hit that, I'll feel so much better for it, and then I'll probably go to sleep at about lunchtime, wake up again at 7 o'clock tonight, go back to night shift, I've got another night shift from, what is it from, I think it's from 7 till 7, and then yeah, just fucking continuing on with the week, I've got quite a few shifts this week, um, and next week, and the week after. But I'm doing all this because I know that in the future, come you know, a couple months time, I'm going to have another holiday, which I don't know where I'm going to go, but I'm going to make it an epic one. And that is what's keeping me going at the moment, just knowing that I've got something to look forward to. Because oh, everyone needs that. But anyways, I'm going to get this down. Actually, how do you open this? They're quite cool, eh? Like little cups. Actually, it's got instructions. Does it? Shake well. Shake well. Done that. Let me just open it. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. Actually, pretty shit. Anyways, this is where I'm going to call it, guys. I'm not going to talk to you guys anymore today I'm just gonna crack into it when I get home so once again as always I hope you have a great day I hope you're all training hard I hope you're all kicking goals and having a positive attitude you'll feel so much better for it and everyone else around you will feel so much better for it so with that said have a great day I'll see you in the next one I'm all the way up, all the way up, all the way up.